the rest of the intros and outros. Yo, it's Nintendo Sony for 2011 here, aka Mania Wolverine. You guys in the rest of the intros and outros, towards the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. And of course, Brighty and Oh my god, I can't wait to see this. This is like the third time I tried to do this video. I'm just going to get the intro stuff out of the way and my overall thoughts, views, and opinions on because this shit is driving me fucking crazy. <laughs> And we're all thoughts, views, and opinions. Oh my god, I'm super, super hyped as fuck with this thing from a while ago. This is going to be some good times. Oh, so good. Like with Sonic, man, uh, Shadow the Hedgehog and Knuckles, and, and there no Tails is getting it. He's going to be getting it in the next sequel. Oh my god, I cannot wait for that. I already read this a bunch of times on here. Same thing. This one's a lot more of the higher perfection one, so shout out to Kevin Burwick. Got to get credit credit due there. It's official. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is speeding into... <laughs> Can you believe that? It's officially speeding into um, Paramount. And Sega's confirmed that Jeff Falver, Jeff Freak himself, behind the camera along with Pat Keller writing script, and he is just getting started with Dr. Robotna. Jim Carrey said he's start, just getting started with Dr. Ivan Robotna character and was looking forward to a sequel, realize a full villain. Now he'll get a chance to do so. According to the sources of the deal, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is in development with stages, no production date to start in the horizon, unfortunately. But this makes sense with most of the entertainment industry still a hold the moment because that whole pandemic crap. Heron is well aware that after the first installment theoretical run was cut short in theaters. It was able to become the highest grossing video game movie of all time domestically and has more than gone beating out Detective Pikachu for global recording things. Now with the continuation evolution or de-evolution Jim Carrey's Dr. Robotnik character, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 also fully reintroduced Old Buddy's Tales was briefly starting Featured in the first installment, Jeff Falver. Oh, wow. Also introduced Sonic's old buddy. Oh, yeah. Which made his feature directorially, directorially debuted his first movie. He's looking forward to bringing a lot of characters to the sequel. There are many great comments to bring just so much more to tell director tease. More than anything, Jeff Falver is looking forward to be able to create a <laughs> turn to return to a grand franchise much like Carrie's. This is a major change for the last years. The Sonic the Hedgehog is going to be a bombshell. Among the other video game movie news, prematurely calling out the first design of the public video game fans have also had the first unofficial leaks. The debut trailers provided the designs that are something that these very he very felt very strongly about. So Paramount went to the drawing board again, back to the drawing board, pushing more movie time at the same time. Also goes on to say Paramount will have no idea. Okay. <laughs> No idea for the first installment was going to do as well. Intense back after the intense backlash it had received last year. I remember that ugly, ugh, degenerate demon looking thing, Sonic. It was ugly. However, it was all distant memory now, which seems like a decade ago. <laughs> it was only like a couple months ago, really. Um, Toby Asher said, and Toru Nakahara, and now this is a super important news here. Toko Matahara are Protega Genesis games. This one here, Hajima Sitoshi and Haruka Satomi and Tim Miller. Oh, man, our executive producing this movie. Hopefully, we're getting a cast announcement in the next coming months. Along with production start, we will just have to be patient and see with Jeff Falver and the sleeves are coming out next year. It's on too. I did hear some crazy-ass news on Sega Dreamcast, too. Some brand-new news is coming next week. And they did say Sony, a PlayStation 5, might be coming June 3rd or 4th. Like, the official, like, reveal of the whole fucking console. But if there's a Dreamcast, too, and a thing, I'm not going to get myself for that. Oh, I can wait to see it, though, if that's going to be a thing next week. I say against Sony Cast who's coming back to like um, video games. Now if they can be a like, collector's edition of a controller or something, it'd be like a Nintendo Switch cross platform thing or something. I don't know. In my own personal hap shit might be fake, it might be real. And this is the other article here. You guys can read that whole thing. Oh man. I'm gonna read the ending part of it. When Santa Hedgehog 2 released, it's unclear. Development only just kicked off and the casting and production are currently on the health blank, alcohol drink. So, whether or not the release dates are being snatched up, I wouldn't be surprised. We didn't see Sonic 2 until 2023, earliest, but that's just me spitballing. The cast of the first movie, including Ben Schwartz, Jason Mouse, and a share of Tom Wachowski, he did really, really funny in that movie. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's hilarious, man. Oh, wow. That was fast. Oh, here it is. All right. Tim Stumpter is Maddie Wachowski, and Dr. Jim Carrey is Dr. Robotnik. One would imagine those four will be into a sequel, but it's interesting to learn what new faces will be joining the team the second go around. And also goes on again, da 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 da. All right, <laughs> Blu-ray DVD already came out for some. All right, thirty years since Sonic the Hedgehog was released by Sega, 
and does any video game appearances and TV shows. All right. A live action movie has been in development as far as back 1993, and the iteration eventually made its way to the big screen, coming together with a half decade ago. Sound that is not available to do a DVD, like I just said. Keep checking back. Blah, 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 blah. Until then, you can stay impressed with the movies expected arriving theaters later this year, 2020 release. Guys. Once you know, I'm definitely watching that unhinged one. You know, it's a live action one that has Russell in it. And 10. 10 if I'm definitely seeing that shit from Christopher Nolan. That shit looks amazing. Woo! Overall thoughts, season, opinions on that? Oh, man. I really want to see Shadow and Knuckles in live action. Well, now we're going to get Knuckles because they showed the Enigna people. Knuckles, the Ejectnik people? I forget what they're called. Echidnas. Oh, we already know we're getting him. So, GTA 6 and 2023. Two sec. With, yeah. I already read this thing like three times, the so fourth time I'm reading it. And there's a lot of like business Wall Street talk. I'm not going to talk about that part, so you guys can read that down below. Correction. <clears throat> Take 2 clarifies that game. I don't know what that fucking shit showed up. That this marketing obligation metric refers to his contract with third party systems. <clears throat> third parties, and it does not reflect the market budget for international studios like Rockstar Games. It does mean the internet. <laughs> time GTA 6, I apologize for making this. Next to Pokemon, like I said before, fourth, fifth time I'm saying it. Next to Pokemon Wars, Drantha Auto series has always been my favorite. I love the top down dungeon scroller for the old school GTA 2, where you're looking at dungeon and just blasting on people all freaking there. It's crazy and getting a whole bunch of money and doing little racing stuff. That shit was cool, but let's move on to this. Take two, experts. This is GTA 6 fucking rumors, not official, so hold on to your pants for this if you're a Grand Theft Auto fan. Makes millions of marketing due to the 12 month period of March 20. Oh, wow. Ending March 20. 31st, excuse me, 2028. This is about half a decade, according to the more company's recent 10K SEC filing, which Take Two has to spend much more in marketing 2024. Oh, wow. GTA according to Jeff to analysis, Jeff Cohen and investment Stephens. All right, that's the part of the period. You guys can read that info if you're into like that boring ass Wall Street shit. So it says, We are not sure how much more we're going to be spending and reading into the ship, but we would be more in disclosure accurately predicting the launch of Red Dead Redemption 2 prior to the game's announcement. Cohen wrote in a note to investors, Take-Two Management has spoken very confidently about the pipeline in the next five years. I thought it was four. That's weird. And existing live services executions have been excellent. However, the timing of the GTA series have been top of the line for investors, particularly stock near high. If Cohen is right, Rockstar North, it should say North there, like I said, the fourth time instead of Rockstar Games. That's just made up. Currently plans to release GTA 6 between April 2023 and March 2024. Overall thoughts, views, and opinions, I really want it to be 2023, but if we really want to extra polish a game, March 2024 is probably what they're going to do. Unfortunately. That's just how it is, unfortunately. Ugh, that sucks, though, but that's just how it is. Da -da 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 -da. Rockstar isn't in a rush. Does the GTA 6 series make sense? GTA Grand Theft Auto 6 is a 2023. Might seem far away. It's very far away, in my opinion. After all the 10 years after the Grand Theft Auto V launched in 20, way back in 2013, it was a while ago. But that might mean, oh man, I can't wait. <laughs> but that might mean, due to likely numbers of the factors, uh, I guess that's what it said. First off, GTA 6 isn't ready for current gen. Rockstar will want to wait until next gen consoles will be more established. The studio doesn't want to leave money under the table selling $25 million. People in next gen console 2022, which could reach a bigger customer base later this year by to have buy more <laughs> folks buy more consoles, PS5 consoles they want. And buy the future Xbox Scorpio and shit too. Rockstar is also as a ray trace is just gonna be sick as high game. Rockstar also is in no rush for the GTA 5 series. The game continues to sell month after month, and GTA Online brings tons of value, and GTA 6 seamlessly picks up at the moment that monumentum. I guess momentum, that's what you say. So it's important for Rockstar Games to get everything right. So it's a crucial have figuring everything out. The transition GTA Online audience for any following proportionals, potentials, follow up in GTA 6. Coming up on the plan and executing more time. 20 for 3, real please, blah, 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 blah. Running away, figure it out. Overall thoughts, using opinions. I know this shit's going to be good. And Rockstar North has always been a near and dear franchise in my heart. I absolutely love the fucking character shit. The parody they do from that to real hilarious. I really want to see a Vice City remake, but it's probably not going to be. That's all I got to say for now. I'm out of here. Links to the description box down below. I'm done. Peace out once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, and fangirls. As always, we'll talk as Nikki Kumoy's out there. We'll see you there. Have a good night. Wherever you're at in the universe out there, stay more for your content. Channel, the video game, industry news, and Monday news, internet news, and reaction videos. That's it. Talk crowd. 
Lightsing by size is a crap of hand sanitizer. I'm done.